Hello again everyone, Edwin Lerner back once again in this YouTube Astrological segment. I'm going to be talking about the Sun, Sextile, or Trine, the North Node in Sinistry. Um, now first off, the basic character, which is the Sun, and then the, the qualities of the North Node person that um, he or she is trying to develop um, can be in harmony. Um, the North Node uh, person you know, can be advantageous to the Sun person's uh, life purpose. If the Sun is in Scorpio, say, that life purpose may very well be connected you know, with having, um, you know, uh, having control in general in their life, just, um, you know, being transforming, empowering, uh, you know, things of that nature. And uh, this is, uh, you know, when you have the sinistry aspect of it, okay, another thing about this is, you know, the sun person can be uh, beneficial to the north node uh, person's future. Say if the north node person has their north node in Aquarius, that future may be connected with you know, computers, electronics, astrology, you know, innovation, meteorology, aviation, humanitarianism, and, you know, just being, you know, altruistic in general, um, being involved in selfless endeavors. It could be things of an environmental nature. And uh, the sun person may easily, um, you know, be able to direct the north node person toward his or her destiny. And, um, you know, if the north node is in Sagittarius, as an example, that destiny you know, may be, you know, connected publishing, advertising may simply be uh, about expanding horizons, doing something, you know, with foreign travel. Um, it could be something with sports, outdoors, um, you know, anything, um, religion, anything associated with Sagittarius. And um, really in the destiny, you know, North Node and Sag could also be simply about you know, targeting one belief or philosophy because you'd be going away from the South Node. The South Node, in that case, of course, would be Gemini, which could be, you know, trying to see, you know, manifold different viewpoints. And, but anyway, now the Sun person may easily focus on helping the North Node person again, developing, you know, the, um, you know, the attributes that are associated with his or her placement. And if you have, uh, say, if the North Node is in Capricorn, you know, those attributes can be connect, can be about being, you know, structured, disciplined, consistent, ambitious, um, career-oriented, um, having good business acumen, um, person that is um, you know, had structure that um, that knows how to attain a, a greater you know, social status and stature in life of uh, being serious um, about matters having pat good powers of concentration now another thing uh, about the sinister aspect is that um, you know, the North node person may be um, you know, drawn to assist the sun person in creative matters and help, um, you know, really uh, help the sun individual express their singularity, their uniqueness, their individuality. You know, if the sun is in Leo, say, as an example, you know, that sun, um, you know, that individuality and uniqueness can be connected, you know, with, um, being very, you know, just you know, glamorous, charismatic, you know, just being creative in general, being flamboyant, being able to stand out somehow. Um, it could be something with entertaining uh, others, um, you know, something, anything connected, you know, with the, um, you know, the zodiac sign Leo. And the thing about, um, you know, this too is um, you know, when you're looking at um, this aspect, it could also be about you know the sun person you know, generally would have you know the vitality and energy to help the north node individual in terms of you know any issues 
that may need to be addressed and uh, confronted. You know, if the North Node, you know, person has their North Node in Gemini, as an example, maybe there's issues with you know somebody you know plagiarizing their work, as an example, or you know identity impersonation that the North Node person's identity has been impersonated. Or it could be, you know, even if there's, you know, something where the person is, you know, branching out, you know, trying a lot of different things, but hasn't really, you know, decided, you know, what he or she really wants to do. Um, you know, even though the North Node in Gemini Destiny would, could be very well be about, you know, expressing versatility, uh, but at the same time, you know, it's still, you know, important to, you know, to try to. You know, at times focus on one, you know, individual, you know, thing in, um, in any way. Um, the thing about this as well, this is, um, you know, the North Node, um, you know, what the North Node person strives to be, you know, may very well be compatible with the Sun person's fundamental character. And you know, if the Sun uh, person has their Sun in Taurus, as an example, that fundamental character can be about being loyal, steadfast, trustworthy, you know, persistent, reliable, patient, and persevering, as some examples. Now, as I've stated in my um, earlier videos on the natal chart placements, um, and I'll say here again, is the fact that it's, you know, it's important to never, you know, um, you know not to isolate you know, any single one, you know, astrological element, pl uh, placement, position, or what have you, and make an analysis of a person, astrologically speaking, based on that alone, because the person is the sum of all their components in their natal chart, and not just one, and it applies to sinistry aspects as well. Um, uh, one sinistry aspect is not, you not going to make or break the connection, um, and, and the thing is, I mean, it certainly applies to this case as well, but, you know, um, where, where the sun sextile or trying the north node in sinistry can be auspicious and favorable, it certainly doesn't make or break the connection, you know, because in sinistry, you know, most cases you're going to have a plethora of aspects between person A and B, and the thing about it is, I mean, you could have, you know, the, the sun, you know, for example, let's say, you have, um, you know, the sun sextile or trine, you know, um, you know, the north node and sinister, right, between two people. But at the same time, you know, let's say that sun, you know, is, um, you know, adverse, making, let's say the sun is making a square or opposition to Uranus and sinister. You know, that sun person you know, may be more averse to being a part of the Uranus person's future because Uranus is connected with the future as well. And the Uranus person may need, you know, more freedom than you think would be necessary from the Sun individual. So, you know, again, it's important, you know, when you're looking at sinistry um, in, in a chart, you know, between two people, to look at all, you know, the aspects because one is not going you know, to mean, you know, okay, you're going to be you know, super compatible just because you have one really good sinister aspect. And, you know, it's important, again, to look at all of the um, aspects of sinister when you're looking at, you know, relationship and, you know, whether it could be more harmonious or whether it's more compatible as opposed to being incompatible. So, anyway, people, that'll conclude this YouTube astrological segment. Until next time, better be learning and stay well.